to What the Forks. What the Forks. What the Forks. A Twilight Book Club. <laughs> Guys, we have cameras. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> um, I have convinced the powers that be to let us record our podcast so that we can upload it for you all to see from this last book of Breaking Dawn into our discussion of Midnight Sun. That was released today, the day the we're day. recording. Yep, Midnight Happy Midnight Sunday, babe. Happy babes. Midnight Sunday. Hey. I'm oh. so excited. Like I know, like all those articles have been going around about Stephanie Meyer having so much anxiety about releasing this book. Yeah, because she's like, do fans even want it? And girl, we are girl, the here. Fans are here. We want it. The fans are here. Yeah, we showed like, it. The announcement of the book alone is why we're doing this podcast. <laughs> then the movies went up on Amazon Prime, and those were watched, and like Twitter was aflame. So, girl, don't your anxiety should be lifted a little bit because you know people are going to judge and have judgments, good. but. I know. I'm here for it. I, I wonder how long it's going to take someone to finish it before she starts getting like some type of hate. Oh, you know, there's know. probably somebody who's finished it right now and is crafting a strongly worded letter. Yeah. If you don't have haters, you ain't <laughs> yeah. popping. So big up to you, Stephanie Meyer. It took yeah. you forever, girl, but we Look, appreciate it. My copy arrived at my house at 11 a.m. this morning. I'm sure somebody else has got there earlier. They have already blown through it and they have opinions. Oh, yeah. I've, I've seen people on Twitter who already got the, bo- the book like two days ago because oh. they went to like a local shop. Oh, make friends gotcha. with your local shop and they were like oh hi so we have this and it's ready just don't say anything you know damn so people have been reading it for they a had minute. the plug they had the plug we do should not. i oh. mute midnight sun on twitter i should probably mute that hashtag so i don't have to see any Still spoilers like, i mean not i mean not i know what happens we know what happens <laughs> i was gonna say like, <gasps> like is there a spoiler no I, but I don't, know. But, I don't know. I know i was looking through and this girl was doing an analysis but yeah. she just posted like where the um table of contents there it is and she wrote next to it like what was new yeah and like which chapters correspond to chapters in the book so, so I can I'm tell like, you okay. that my because co- I got a physical card copy it is the same size as Breaking Dawn so there are yes. definitely extra scenes in there but the audiobook is five hours longer I just want to know if Edward has like Dawn. a self love scene in the stop it. oh my gosh do, do you think vampires do that oh so. fuck yeah they do well, I mean, Emmett does, obviously. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Emmett like, definitely does. Like, Stop it. <laughs> oh, my God. There are just all these extra scenes, and he's sitting there pining away for Bella, you know? I mean, thinking about him alone. It's like what <laughs> Angelica Schuyler. He's just sitting in a meadow. <laughs> he's, got, he's just got time. I know. I mean, all that. T- what Nothing does he do time with all that time? Oh my God, he's the original guy from you. He's like you, <laughs> sleeping in your bed. Sleeping in your bed. Isabella Swan. I don't know you, but I but know I what will. you smell like. <laughs> Hi, you. Oh, Penn Badgley. Should he oh. be the new Edward Cullen? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> oh my God, no, no. So down. I'm so ready for I'm it. I'm already mad that he's Gossip Girl. Ooh, sorry if I ruined that for anybody. I mean, that- from really what, like seven years ago? It's I don't over. like to be that person. No, I'm sorry that they didn't. No, no. Could you no. imagine if I was like, what? I mean, Dan I, is what? Like, what? I need to watch. I never finished Gossip Girl, but I need to see how that happened because it makes no sense to me. Rosebud. Well, so. Yeah, Rosebud is his slut. <laughs> uh, but today we're going to be talking about Breaking Dawn. Breaking Dawn. Breaking Dawn. Uh, just the first Bella part. Um, because we're going to break this up into three. We're actually not going to be coming to you weekly. Um, but I, with this book, did you know that they actually made a real wedding video for the movie? <laughs> it's in the extended it's, edition. It's in the extended the DVD, right? Or something. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't know yeah. how I missed it. But legit, you could find it on YouTube. It's like 10 minutes long. Yeah. And it's a real like wedding video with video <laughs> diary moments from everyone. And it's glorious. Have you watched this thing? Not in a very, Not in a long, very long time. time but I remember long time. watching it. But I know that it happened. Yeah. I, it's pretty great. Like, I think Mike Newton's my favorite part because he's still like pining. He's still a hater. Still a hater. Still pining. It's like Jessica's wedding speech in the movie is my favorite thing. She's like, yeah, you know, she wasn't even like the head of the school council, but you know, whatever. Or captain of the volleyball oh, team. Because <laughs> oh, Jessica good. was a friend of me. Let's be real. She was. 100%. She turned into a huge friend of me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She was like, ooh, competition. Um, and have y'all seen on TikTok, you know, 
Twilight has now had a TikTok resurgence. Yes. And it's been amazing. Twilight TikTok is popping, y'all. Have you seen the Bella dance to like Edward's lullaby? lullaby. Oh, no. <laughs> Because it was like dun, dance. Dun, 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 dun. And you would think it'd be like beautiful and ballet. No, no. it's like twerking, popping. Oh my god! If you <laughs> haven't have seen, you it, seen I'm the post. one where the girl she's like me outside trying to get out, uh, trying to get Carlisle Cullen to notice me. Yes, that's yes. the dance. That's oh, the dance. That's the, <laughs> that's the, that's dance. the lullaby it's so dance. Good. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, oh my god! Who did, like whoever invented this? Thank you. It's all I've needed in my life. Also, was if this you're on Twilight TikTok, you need to look up the one where they're like, what if Twilight was the Disney sitcom and they added a laugh track? I haven't seen that. What? <laughs> okay, can you, you send not that to me and then yes. I will share it Please. out? Please. Please. Oh my God. You have to share that. I will. I'm sorry, guys. It was the middle of the night. It's like, that, is that when everyone's on TikTok? Yeah. Yes. It's like 3 a.m. You're like, I was how like, am I still that's, here? And TikTok's like, you've been here for a long time. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I got a job. I, know, I got to go to bed. Right? Yeah, don't don't go judge to me, TikTok. It's not my fault. Uh, but yeah. Okay, guys, anything else you want to talk about? Or you want to just dive right Let's in? Get right into this book. Wait, news. What news? What news? About that movie. Oh, the Rob Pattinson oh, there's movie. There's another Robert Pattinson movie coming out. Twilight guess, News. Listen. More Robert Pattinson listen. movies. Robert Pattinson. Bill Skarsgård. Uh, Tom Holland. Tom Holland. There's one more because there's four of them and I was like, oh my God, this movie. Um, the Winter Soldier. Sebastian, Sebastian Stan. Sebastian Stan. Yes. All four yeah. of them are in a movie. It's called like the devil all the time or something. I don't, I don't, whatever. It needs to be called Jordan is watching this all the time because I mean, with that cast, it must be a point. Now. Thank you. I haven't heard say. a cast this hot since Takers. Do you remember that movie? Yes. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, also tried to watch Takers recently. Does not hold up. Oh, <laughs> fail. Mm-mm. It happens. It happens. Whatever. They're still all hot. <laughs> I love it. All right. Breaking Dawn. Breaking so we, Dawn. this movie, this movie, the movie cut all uh, of this out. Uh, but like yeah. the whole beginning is like Bella trying to go get gas and she is driving a Mercedes Guardian and I never okay. looked it so, up before until now. First of all, even that the prologue is oh. such heavy foreshadowing, like the preface or whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. you think that she's going to like die, but something with Edward and it's just like, nope, the baby's going to kill me. Mm-hmm. But you don't realize that part yet because you're at the beginning of the book. And she's, then, yeah, the Mercedes Guardian. I which, was like, it's so weird like it's such a weird chapter like it's so strange maybe it's why they didn't film it but i would have thoroughly enjoyed seeing an obnoxious car in the middle of nowhere yeah but an obnoxious tourist who's like let me take a picture with your car and and like she doesn't even realize like why it's special yeah but i looked it up because i didn't know what this was and i was like how much is it why is it so special this car is 1.56 million dollars because it's like the obama mobile yeah, like, you know, yeah like it's, it's an armored car like yeah, it's a armored. tank but the thing is would anybody recognize like even people who are into cars would you recognize this tank driving down the street like is that scene plausible i think it's a weird scene all t- like i get it because he's like we have to like bring this car over keep yeah. her safe be- until she's a vampire and like he's gonna sabotage her truck because yeah. we all know he sabotaged her oh yeah, yeah we all sure. know he broke the truck let's be real <laughs> yeah Jacob has gone missing. Missing boy signs all over town. Missing boy signs all over town. Milk carton because of Charlie. Because Charlie's like, I'm a cop. Your son is missing. Why are you so calm? And he's like, and Billy Black is just like, meh, meh. He, he's grown. He'll come home when he wants to come home. <laughs> yeah. I wish. I wish my parents were that chill about things. I right? know. Like you barely miss curfew, and they're just sitting there in the darkness waiting for you. You know? I went out on a date one time and my mom looked at the GPS tracker because I shared my phone location with her and we were taking a walk on the beach but my phone showed the middle of the ocean and my mom was like that's what she gets for meeting people on the internet I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and your mom's like that's what happened she said she gave, she gave it an hour and by the time well, if I showed up at home in that hour which I did then she was fine she said it would take me more than an hour then she would have <laughs> run to the like, police station my daughter's in the middle of the ocean <laughs> she met some men on the internet and now she's a mermaid. <laughs> I actually like this as an aerial sequel. I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah. She goes on it. Her daughter goes on a Tinder date. Mm-hmm. Yep. And they end up in the middle of the Little ocean. Mermaid Part yeah. 3. Is it a horror movie? No, it's like Triton's first son. And yeah. like he, oh, okay. he snatches the girl off the beach. You know. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, Missing boy signs. <laughs> <laughs> Missing boy signs. Uh, Edward and Seth are like be- like besties. They're like BFFs now. Somebody has a cell phone that's only for emergencies. I remember writing that down. Like, remember when cell phones were only for emergencies? Yes, because minutes were yeah. expensive. Yeah. Yes, Edward has bought her a cell phone, but it's only for emergencies. <laughs> 
like it cost him anything anyway. I know. He but I love this set car, but she can't use an Edward phone. relationship because yeah. after their like little wolf vampire dap, I was like, they're gonna be friends they're forever. Gonna be friends for life, bro. Friends down, <laughs> broing down. So good. We killed that vampire. Oh, guy. handsome old little Boo Boo Stewart. Oh, Boo Boo. He's just so cute. We're watching the movie, this, like, the, you know, cause at the same time as reading, and I'm just like, why is he so precious? He's just so precious. And I love that little too much. He's at the wedding. He's just always around. But now he's so grown. So grown. So grown. Mm. Mm. But anyway, back to the sorry, okay, Charlie, so the blessing that we don't deserve. I know, <laughs> the blessing we don't. Yeah, the, so the last book ends with like them Bella telling Edward we have to tell Charlie, yeah. and so I was like, are we not gonna? Is he, are we not gonna see it? So I'm glad they, they do a little flashback, flashback. Yeah. Mm-hmm. and we still get to see it. And I'm glad that his like his first reaction was not unfounded. He was a little worried that his daughter was pregnant. <laughs> I mean, if, the she's been dating the man for like was so heavy. Yeah, so heavy. But yeah, no, he's worried that she's pregnant, which is, you know. Fair. Fair. Totally that fair. That is 100% They're teenagers. fair. They're teenagers. He's like, you're pregnant. You're pregnant. And I'm like, whoa, whoa. But the sad thing is she also had to be like, no, dad, Edward's old school. You know, yeah. like. The, <laughs> the mental gymnastics that Stephanie Meyer uses in this book to get around the words having sex. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. fantastic. Yeah. And the only people I feel like who say it are like Edward and Bella, but only yeah. awkwardly to each other yeah. when it might happen. Yeah, they never, but they never say we're going to have sex. It's like we're going to be alone together. <laughs> no one will be around in your room. <laughs> we shall have time in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just so awkward and weird. I don't know. Uh, I also like that Charlie is like, well, you have to tell your mom. And he thinks that that's going to be, that's like the, oh, like he thinks he did something yeah. with that. And he then thinks he got her. Yeah. Okay, but I don't know if you guys have this me because I'm from a divorced set of parents. Hmm. But like my dad has a completely different reaction than my mom when it comes to things. Like my mom is going to like lay down the hammer, say absolutely no. And my dad, even though he wants to say no, will say, okay, or Ask your mother. Ask your well, mother. Yeah. I think that's very typical, though, in divorced families, because there's always one parent who is, like, the responsible one, mm-hmm. 100%, and the one who you have to lean on, who, like, has to make the hard choices. And then there's the other parent who's just kind of like, I don't want to piss you off because I never see you. Yeah. I mean, yeah. my my parents are still together, but they were exactly the same yeah. way. My mom ran everything. My mom is who you should be afraid of. My dad's mm-hmm. just like, so I had children. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm here. Right. <laughs> Even when my parents were still together, me and my brothers would try and get away with shit and be like, oh, well, dad told us we could. My mom was like, no, you know, his opinion doesn't matter. Exactly. Yes. I know. My mom would pull that too. Yeah. Mind you, we're like 3,000 miles away yeah. from her yeah. with our dad. Right? I'm like, well, fun. daddy lets us drink soda three times a day. And then she's like, but you know, you shouldn't be drinking soda yeah. three times a day. I don't care. I'm mm-hmm. like, well, I guess. Yeah, and I love that her, her mom then has, like, the complete opposite reaction. Yeah. She's like, this is exactly what I thought. You came to visit me. I saw you together. I know. My middle-aged baby, you've never been a teenager. I love, I love that, that line. She's like, you're an old soul. Mm-hmm. This is in line with who you are. And, like, yeah. she reassures her that she's not making a mistake. Because Bella is like, I'm so young. Why am I doing this? Like, everyone will think I'm pregnant, which is solidified because yeah. her dad thought so. And her mom just telling her, like, no, you're not making a mistake, I think is beautiful. You really see her go through coming from a broken family. This Mm -hmm. whole thing of, like, marriage is such an unnecessary part of what I need in a relationship. Yeah. And her kind of realizing that I'm in love, so I should do this because I love this person. It can be a beautiful thing. And it's a decision that I'm making of my own volition, not something that I feel coerced into or anything else. Which Mm -hmm. I think is really important for her to know. Yeah. And to like, because she's questioned it so much. And like, especially Edward doesn't help because Edward is still. Edward is still very old fashioned. <laughs> he's old fashioned. He's like, but well, you won't be able to have children. Foreshadow. Won't be able to, you know, like, you yeah. won't see your friends and family anymore. You won't go to college. Like, you can't do this thing. You can't, you know, whatever. Yeah. I so, mean, no student loans. Right. I mean, <laughs> never throwing up on something. <laughs> Sounds great. No keg stands? Come on, no, Bella. No yeah. playing power hour before a final like an idiot. <laughs> What do you think vampires do uh, on a bachelor party? 
like, <laughs> I was like, when I read that, you know, because like they're hugging each other and having this really serious conversation, and Jasper and Evan show up to take yeah. Evan on his bachelor party, and I'm like, what do they do? What do they do? Is, is, is there a Fantasia in <laughs> right? like, yeah. Seattle? Do they like, go to a strip club? Like, I have no exactly. idea. <laughs> they can't just go hunting, right? That's boring. That's boring. That's just going out to Some dinner. Some people like to just go hunting. But Bad have you people. ever been to like a bachelor party where all they like that's the equivalent of them going to Chili's? Like that's their bachelor party was taking <laughs> Edward to Chili's. Why would you knock Chili's like that? <laughs> I'm just saying, if all they did was go out and get dinner, like it's not, they yeah. didn't do anything special. There has to be a vampire bar or like a strip club. But they're like or supposed something. to be teenagers there anyway, so like something. it's not like they can really do anything. You're telling me they don't have fake IDs? I they, mean, the Collins definitely have fake IDs. They have all these. They have all these different passports. They yeah. come on. I mean, it doesn't like, matter. Like, why go race a boat or something when you're like, I could run faster than this boat. I mean, they could, I can run faster than this boat. That needs to be on a t-shirt. Please. Please put that on a t-shirt with Edward Cullen's face. Sorry. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Sorry with Edward Cullen's face. They probably went to, like, Canada. Yeah, they went up to Canada. So, okay, maybe it wasn't Chili's. Maybe they took them to Maggiano's, but still. <laughs> that's still a boring-ass bachelor party. I know, but I'm, can't I'm, it be somewhere fancier, you know? Fancier like than where? Maggiano's? Like Nobu? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they could come. They'd make it to the stinking rose, Laurie's, Laurie's, Laurie's fancy. Yeah, they took him to Laurie's Steakhouse. They could have like a rare steak that will probably wouldn't taste like dirt. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just want to know. I'm like, what is there? There's got to be something. I don't know. And they were only gone for a matter of hours, so like it couldn't have been. I don't know. Yeah, they travel really fast though, so maybe time is not significant. That's I fair. mean, we're we're definitely dwelling on this bachelor party, but I'm also sorry, I'm sorry. I'm I was had curious. Curious. I, about it. Every bachelorette party, there's always a moment where I'm like, I wish I was at home and in my bed and <laughs> around all these idiot girls. <laughs> and like I just feel like that short type of sweet situation yeah. okay. seems perfect, you know? Like why need you don't need all the pepper and sauce matching dresses expensive hotel who cares we're never in it anyway planned shit expensive dinner is like not fun yeah i don't know i've been to two uh, the two bachelor parties i've been to have been lit mm. we went one weekend we went camping it's just 12 of us in the forest doing all kinds of crazy stuff so Did you, you had a van- not wearing clothes <laughs> you had uh, your vampire, I had my vampire bachelor party yeah uh, <laughs> and then the other one we just went to palm springs for the night and it was we got wild there you go <laughs> Yeah, we got a text message in the morning to the group chat that said, uh, "I just woke up. I have no clothes on and no memories what happened last night." And we oh, her, oh, honey, we put you to bed. <laughs> you didn't you're good. You didn't but make I think it. that's my problem. It's like you know, I went to college. I was in a sorority. Yeah. You know, like I'm way above everyone's speed. So like okay. people start like puttering out, and I'm like, "Bitch, this is round two. Like yeah, okay. you're boot in okay. rally." And then I just get tired of it. So okay. I'm like, everyone's trashed and like you're so Emmett. Maybe, That's and, fine. And to your point, <laughs> to your point, the Cullen brothers have had like 50 years of puking and rallying. So exactly. Yeah. Maybe they're over it. I don't know. All right. All right. Moving on. Moving on. We get to the plague of immortal children, yeah, which is more children. like more foreshadowing. She the loves foreshadowing is. Thick, thick in this book, man. With well, two I mean, C's. Thick with two C's. Peanut buttery. <laughs> with the last <laughs> one. <laughs> on. Well, you know, in Eclipse, we got the story of the third wife, which yes. was like super heavy, too, of what mm-hmm. she was going to try and do. And now we get the immortal children and how if you knew them, you fell in love with them, but they couldn't be controlled and they rampaged everywhere. All I could think about was Claudia from Interview with the Vampire. That's <laughs> all I could think about. Yeah. that Yeah, yeah. I thought of my nephew because... <laughs> He's a toddler and he's too much. And I'm just like, man. If that little stinky was a vampire, you're right. If that stinky so was a vampire, hard. it'd be so true. hard. He grew fangs first as his teeth. So it's I was true. like, vampire child. Yeah. <laughs> and we learn how, like, Tanya and those, uh, that whole tribe of people, like, their mother created an, an, immortal, an immortal child and, and nobody knew why. Mm-hmm. And that, that kind of leads into like that tribe's weirdness and why they kind of... The Denali come... clan is super weird, right? Yeah, and how they took like a real hard left to like yeah. correct their lives and become vegetarians yeah. and whatnot. But I'm just like, why are we learning this but story? Then, but we it know. also adds so many layers to like... Her name's Irina, right? The yeah, girl yeah, that Irina. Edward never wanted. and she's... Or is it... Wait, Tanya? No, Irina's the one that she, she didn't want. I don't remember. Whatever. I don't know. Correct us. I got nothing. Um... <laughs> She just adds too layers many people to her. Names. Yeah. I'm like, dang, she lost her. Her mama mm-hmm. was killed yeah. in front of her. Nobody loves her. 
And then she had that like one dude that she thought Laurent? was into her. Yeah, Laurent, and then Laurent and was a mess. He tried know, to ease Bella, even mess. if she doesn't want to believe it. Girl, it's still true. Yeah, the whole thing was. I'm just, just a saying, mess. some of us get dealt bad hands. She got dealt a and bad she got hand. Dealt a bad hand, obviously in first life, of all, because she's a vampire right, first now. First of all, she's a vampire, and in, so and in death. <laughs> I want a book on the Denali clan. Can I get that? Right. There's just Listen, so if we're many just out here writing people. new books, S. Meyer, can no, we get because Esmaya. they're like in Esmaya. Alaska, so they're probably killing endangered species and shit. Like it ain't cool. Right? I mean, they have like reindeer. Moves. They got justice for Emmett. They killed a bear. Bear. Yeah. 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 That'd be fun. justice okay, for Emmett. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Moving on <laughs> to the wedding. To the wedding. To the wedding. When I read this originally, back in the duh. Um, I did not know how pretty it was because I didn't really know much about flowers. Yeah. And it kept talking about all these different types of flowers and like the scents and how everything smelled. Uh, freesia. And I was like, mm. Freesia orange blossom. You didn't live in a Bath and Body Works like the rest of us? Apparently not. I mean, I did. But like freesia orange blossom, mm-hmm. roses, and lilies, right? Yeah. That would smell. That combo is not going to. So potent. Yeah. Everyone would be having asthma attacks. <laughs> also, mind you, those are the type of flowers that like aren't even concurrent to the same season. Yeah. So they have to be flown hey, all listen, around the world. Listen, a rich AF. She's driving a million dollar car. Yeah. What bothered me was the excessive million. use of the word gossamer. If you don't know what gossamer lace is, look it up. It's literally like, and they're like, it's, well, oh, you, you know, know, the 19, uh, know like nothing. 1800s type yeah, of thing. Like, it's it when just, an author gets stuck on one word and they just have to use the same. That's what gossamer was her word. She just got mm. stuck on it and had to use I it mean, over girl, and over couldn't again. you think like Chantilly, like something expensive, you know? A gossamer, like, hey, maybe to her, gossamer was expensive. <laughs> maybe to her. I just feel like for the way I've imagined this Cullen family, so, yeah. you know, RAF, I did not imagine this type of tack. I didn't <laughs> realize, I think, when I, w- or I didn't remember that the wedding happens inside the house. Yeah. yeah I didn't remember the that stair step thing yeah. and everything. I was and like, she Bella's comes clumsy this, ass. Yeah, right. Bella's clumsy ass coming down a whole bunch of stairs, y'all. This is a bad plan. Yeah. But she's like, don't let me fall, Dad. And I'm just and- like, oh. The other thing about the wedding being in the house, which bothers me, is like the Cullens are always trying to like get by and not necessarily flaunt their wealth. Right. Or like flaunt how different they are. Mm-hmm. And I feel like they took a hard left in this book where he he buys her a million dollar car. They're having people inside the house. Like it's for it's, the second time. For the second time. <laughs> you know, well, it's let's, a whole let's lot not of like, forget the party, y'all. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like y'all are trying to you're you're going real close to the line, y'all. Yeah. Trying to fly under the radar. So it was but I felt the movie captured the wedding beautifully. Oh yeah, the movie the wedding movie is was beautiful. The movie wedding, movie is, wedding is way better than book wedding. It like I don't know what in my brain I can't, I don't know what these flowers look like. So yeah. like the I, like white wisteria dripping from the trees yes. and like the cut up wood log benches and stuff yes. in the movie. I was like, oh, and her dress, her dress, her dress, her dress, her dress was really good in the, the movie. The ring, like movie and wedding was I don't gorgeous. Even like satin, but I was annoyed. Okay. Oof. Yeah, I, I just thought that it was so stunning in the movie. And I think that's just what I translate to in my brain since I don't yeah. know what these things look like. I'm like, cool, satin and lace. That's a dress. Right. <laughs> Flowers. Those are things. Oh, yeah. Like, that's. <laughs> and you grow up and you're like, mm, garbage. Mm, garbage. Yeah. Uh, also, I forgot that Rosalie played the played <laughs> the music for the uh, wedding. Yes. yes. <laughs> but I also like that Rosalie helped her get ready. Yes. Yeah. Because they've had such a tumultuous relationship yeah. that for her to be there on her special day, which then also kind of foreshadows. Again, foreshadowing. Rosalie later. In this book, you know, like she's still, she's trying. She's like, she's well, trying. this is the choice you're you're, you're making, making I, for my brother. For I love you. my brother. Right. You're my sister. Here we are. I don't hate we gotta you. Do the damn thing. I just don't understand you. She never hated her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She just didn't like the choices she was making. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, you know, you can, we can be that way with friends. We can be oh, that yeah. way with family, like right? strangers. I don't like your choice, but I'm a God accept it now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so the big thing going on too is there's like the werewolves are at the wedding, right? And Seth, there's like Seth, Seth is there, but then like the treaty is a huge thing, mm-hmm. and that's kind of looming over. And one thing they did for the book versus the movie is like we'll get to Jacob showing up and whatnot, yeah. but like Sam is like it's up to me. Yeah, I'm I'm in charge. I'm the now. alpha. I'm Woof. the alpha. So kind of like the weight of that treaty, I think it's alleviated in the book. Yeah, I mean, for in the movie versus the book a little bit. Yeah, the book it takes it takes you a while to get there. Yeah, mm-hmm. where it's like we can live in peace. Yeah, 
Um, when the Denali women are going through the line after Edward and Bella are married, do you think they're all just having these dirty thoughts the about him? Line? Yes, yeah. Because you know he was he like starts like he can't blush, but he starts like smiling. Yeah. And if Edward I think could that blush, receiving line was a mess. <laughs> yeah, with like you have everyone like Jessica going through and Mike going yeah. through, and he's like Mike's still bitter. Like, yeah. <laughs> that receiving line was a mess. And I'm like, do you think they like because they know he they could hear his thoughts that like the women are like hugging but do Edward you think and like they were like being cool, but they know he they, they know. know. That he can hear their thoughts. So do you think that they're like trying to think about other things? Like think no. about your grandma. <laughs> I no, I think they're really like, God, he looks like a snack. And then they're they like grab it. his butt just a little bit to add it to it, you oh know? Oh my god. Because they're like family, so it would be funny. Y'all no, are wrong. Just me. <laughs> okay. I know there's a creature. Hi. Okay, continue. <laughs> that just, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, uh, sorry, I have this note. It's like I LOL'd at the image of Edward shooting the garter into Mike's face. <laughs> <laughs> they actually go through with the, like the traditions yeah. of the bouquet and the garter, Which, and I just okay. like. But that part made me mad because they. So there's a part where they say that Bella's already dressed, mm-hmm. and uh, her mom gives her something old, I think. Yeah, and then the, the colors like give her some. Comb. Yeah, yeah. yeah the oh, and then the garter the garter and she said, new. "I want that back." Exactly. So then like, Alice, ew. yeah, Alice like goes up on like she you know Alice does the thing she's like vampire you know gracefulness uh-huh. goes up under her dress puts the garter on and it's like I want this back it's mine and Edward just yanks it off and snaps it into Mike's face I think it's so beautiful though <laughs> yeah like Alice that can get was it funny but I felt bad for I Alice I mean that you know what garter. it was probably mm-hmm. Bella's to begin with and Alice was just like trying to make her feel better about it make her feel better mm-hmm. and not fixate on the fact that she doesn't have something borrowed because yeah. like we don't have time for this we have a schedule to stick right. to you know, that's yeah. that's where I'm going to take that. Yeah. But in the comb, I thought was such a lovely idea from her parents. The comb was fantastic. Like from her grandmother and they put the blue sapphires in. I'm just like, oh. one single tear. Sing. One single, a single salty, salty tear. tear. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, cry baby. No, it's just me. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then it, yeah, Bella gets her biggest wedding gift. The milk carton face man is back. <laughs> He's on two legs. He just shows up on two legs at the edge of the woods. And Edward, dressed and ready to go. And I'm just like, Edward's and just so And calls to Edward in his head. He's like, bitch, I'm here. <laughs> bitch, I'm here. Bring my girl. Yeah. <laughs> like, and he's like, oh, your present's here. And he takes her, like, takes her. And I like that Edward leaves them alone. Like, he can read the room. I mean, at this he point, won. he knows he, he has won. won. He's won. There's a, I won. They've, come on. They've done their vows. He knows. he's He doesn't have anything to worry about. Mm-hmm. And it, he's like, eh. I'm just, I'll just go and dance and I'll come back later when yeah. you need me. And that was such a sweet moment. They dance together. They talk. Mm-hmm. He's like, I'm just going to remember you like this. Yeah. And then Jacob's got to be Jacob. And then and Jacob has to be everything. Jacob because everyone knows Jacob is a complete ass and he just ruins it. Yeah, and like, why is everyone so obsessed with obsessed with Bella's sex life as a human? Like, it's I know, their get out of it. It's shocking. How many people are like, oh, sex, sex with so vampires, doing sex it? with me? You having sex yet? You, you sex? having babies? Let's go. None of them can say the word sex. And it's like, are you, are you two being safe? <laughs> oh wait, what is this? It's like, well, you can't have a regular honeymoon anyway. Has I he can... gone into your love what? tunnel? <laughs> <laughs> are you soaking yet? Yeah. <laughs> Google it. Well, but when I he had a friend that, message me, she's like, what does that mean? I was like, this is what it means. She was like, well, <laughs> when that's the perfect. When Jacob name. said that, well, you can't have a regular honeymoon anyway. And she was like, no, we're going to try. I told you guys in the tent, they were thinking about sex. And then Edward was like, you're right. I cannot have sex with her. And then guess what? He, it was sex, guys. I told you. I know. He's you, like, were right. I'm gonna give you, that. you were yeah. right. You were right. You were right. Like, yeah, I'd probably. Right. And you guys just think my mind's in the gutter. But no, you right. were right. You were yeah. right. We're like, oh, probably sexy time. But I'm just like, get off of her. Right? It's, it's not your so business. Gross. Let, if she wants to try and right. he's, Edward's willing, Mind like, your own business. if Buffy can have sex with multiple vampires, right. so can Bella, okay? <laughs> Has anyone in this book universe seen a TV show? One singular TV show. <laughs> yeah. So, mm. But wouldn't it Have be you funny? seen True Blood? Like, 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 watched one TV show. They, they just have to, like, what, what is, practice makes perfect. They'll yeah. figure it out. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's a human virgin and a vampire virgin, so he doesn't even know he doesn't what's know. coming. He has no Literally and figuratively. Literally. Oh. You're welcome. Ayo. I hate you. Wow. Wow. You are a trash human. You're welcome. I'm just like, I'm so over it, and I'm so annoyed with him. And then, like, he gets angry, and the wolves have to show up because they're all waiting yeah, for him in the woods because they don't him. trust him either. And he's they have like, to hold him back. It's like, ugh. 
That's how I feel. Like, and then just Edward comes annoying. and just whisks her away to the dance floor. Yeah. And he's just like, and then you hear him howl. I am so over <laughs> Jacob's whiny loser boy howl when his feelings are hurt. This isn't the first time. No, he did it so- during Eclipse. And he's just like, hum. But it's so great that it happens the in the background of every moment. But the puppy cry is actually moment. really cute to me because it happens so often. I just think it's so precious that it's in the background of like they're like dancing together or watching movies or whatever it is. And you're just like, oh. It just adds that like extra layer of like, God, he's such a crybaby. Right? He's, he's such, such a, a child. He kills me. I'm this just is like, the, and this is the moment where you can tell the difference in maturity levels because yes. Edward is far more of a gracious loser he can deal with it. He's been alive for 117 years. And then you have baby Jacob over here who just, the moment he doesn't get his way, ow, just whining like like a puppy video on YouTube. I'm just like, oh, he's obnoxious. And like, we're about to get into the next section for next week. It's going to be, it's all from Jacob's perspective. I'm going to want to stab myself in the eye, but it's fine. It's still It'll very still be fun. Good. It's still a fun section, even if it's from, you know. It's true. I can't remember a single lick of it, so I'm hoping yeah. that when I get back to it, pleasant surprises. Despite the things I feel for this person now, <laughs> that I will approach it with bright eyes, like I approach New Moon and when a I bushy wa- tail, right. like a wolf, like a wolf. <laughs> and I'll be like, okay, I understand, <laughs> Jacob. For- <laughs> <laughs> oh God, he's I'm a crybaby and he's a redhead. No, I'm just kidding. I look, I like redheads. Yeah. But- Anyway, um, anyway, so now we gotta get to like the part of why, with the, why this whole chapter, like yeah, this right, whole, whole section part, of the, the whole book, exists part for this section of the book is what like we're for all waiting for the Isle of Esme, the honeymoon, the honeymoon. <laughs> Which I love that Edward is taking her to an island under the guise of like wanting to take her somewhere secret, 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 place. <laughs> a secret, place. Going to a secret place, <laughs> a secret. Um, and it was like a gift from Esme when really he's just worried about her being cold while they're naked together. Oh, you know, I thought, like, no, no, I no. no. I thought he wanted to go it. to a secret place because he didn't want any of it. Because he didn't want anybody to see the, see him in the sunlight. Like they can't. Here's the thing. He's it's an vampire. island of a Rio. It's all sunny. But nobody's but it's there. A it's a private well, island. Yes, absolutely. The they can't just go to Maui. There are tons of vacationers yes. and tourists. I'm like, that's that's a problem for him. It's like if you want the island life as a vampire, you gotta buy an island. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, for sure. But he's also made sure it was warm because he knows he's cold. And okay. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like he, when that later, you know, thoughtful. he he leaves to go eat, and she's like, "Why am I sweating?" You yeah. know, like she needs yes. her swamp cooler and then you know, and he left her. <laughs> but also, this was like a 16 hour excursion. Oh, my God. And I, can't, I can't. Just the thought of that made me so exhausted. Yeah. Like just traveling for. And I think I'm thinking of it as in the like, guys who have broke millennial who only has so much vacation time. <laughs> we cannot take a honeymoon that has like a 16 hour trip because that's cutting into the five days I'm going to be off from work. Yeah, basically. <laughs> means your three day vacation. Not even that. Five. There's only so long this you. Youthful glow can stay, <laughs> right. you know, yeah. hydrated. Yo, we got on a five hour plane ride. That's so it. It's you like, got five hours to get me where we're going. You might get like a, a flight to London. And yeah. even in that thing, you know, I'm like water cream face yeah. masking it. I'm going to need a layover so I can go to the airport bathroom. Exactly. Fix myself, and then, we better stop in Panama yeah. or something. Like, I can't do this. And Bella, I cannot would, do this. She has to eat. Oh, I and know. he forgets that she's and she's like won't say anything. I'm like, girl, you don't get girl. hangry. I get hangry. A closed mouth don't get fed. Literally, Bella. Yeah. Oh, and nicotine. I can't go 16 hours <laughs> without nicotine. I would murder everyone on that flight and then become a vampire because that's just what would happen. Fair enough. Fair enough. I like that the movie added a stop for them though. Like they're in Rio and they actually go out. Yeah. And they explore with the people and they dance and they make out with with everybody because everyone's like having a lovely time yeah. at their restaurant bar outside. I think that was a lovely that was addition. That, that was we didn't really get. cute. Very and sweet. It, yeah. Everyone's kissing. Love in Rio. <laughs> Love in Rio. <laughs> Love in Rio. And then they get to the island. And, and no, and then they still have to get on a boat. They got on a boat. <laughs> they have to get on a boat minutes. for thirty more minutes to get to the island. <laughs> Even though he runs faster than a boat. I mean, yeah, but I is mean, he, he Jesus does. can he run on water? <laughs> I mean, if Elsa could do it, <laughs> right? Right? Hey, Come on, know, figure it out. She's Edward. cold too. Figure it out, Edward. <laughs> Every inch of her is trembling, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and not from the cold. I hate you. <laughs> no, okay. Um, um, what I have? Sorry, I'm like notes. I have notes. Yeah. 
Um, I love that Edward uses a cheesy line that has actually been like used on me before. Yeah. Where like someone's looking at something, and you're like, oh, that's beautiful, and they're like, not as beautiful as you. <laughs> and it's just like it's never not awkward when that is. Yeah, said. no, it's but never not think awkward. It's, adorable. it's so adorable. It's so precious. She's just like, stop. But it. there's never not a moment when someone says that to you that you won't be like. Oh. I know exactly. You're just like mm, you said okay. It. You, you said it. it. So the, this is one of my favorite parts, uh, like book to movie. Uh-huh. When you know they get there and he's like, "I'm gonna go swim," and she's like, "I need a human moment." Yeah. Because in the movie, it's this fun, funky montage of yeah. her like, "I gotta shave my legs. I gotta do this. Brush I gotta my brush teeth. my hair. Brush my teeth." Like, and she's just like freaking out, and I feel like that's so relatable. And it was just so fun Very, the way it was like captured on film. I also, like after too. 16 hours on a plane. Yeah, like, right. I need a wash. You I don't need, need a, a human moment. I need like I need a human hour too. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Like, can I please shower? Yeah, no, I felt her in that moment. Moment, yeah. I agree. It was such a lovely addition because, like, in the book, Edward's like, "Do you need a human moment?" And yeah. she's like, "Oh yeah, I probably do." Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, funky. she's like, "No, no, no. I know, I'm funky. I, I do one hundred percent." I forgot why we came here. <laughs> <laughs> And I love when Bella's going through her uh, tr- her trunk, her bag, and she sees all this laundry. Laundry, like expensive La Perla, and like really nice things. Yeah, and, and she's, she's just like, so oh, mad. Alice, why would I wear these things? And I'm like, <laughs> Alice knows why you came to this island, girl. Exactly. Yeah. She Alice can see knows. the future. She <laughs> understands. And she, like, these, these words, these are little moments where you see Stephanie Meyer's Mormonism come through. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, because like finding lingerie that's like a, we were talking about this that are more like nightgowns to be so sexy, and you're like, okay, girl. Okay. And then and the ones girl, that are a little bit more chamas. stringy yeah. and like bra panty thing is like, oh my god, oh my god, oh, so no. sexy. He's gonna see me. Okay. I was like, like there's <laughs> nothing crotchless in this. Yeah, bag. right. Like, <laughs> You don't have no. anything with a corset or a garter? Exactly. Well, you a garter was too much for her at her own wedding. Yeah, but still. Tassels? So. Clips? Bells? Nothing. Right? So. Nothing? Um, I also have to say that I love that the movie gave us so much more on their sexy night. Because the book has The book her fades to black. The fades book just to fades black. to black. It's like an old school movie where it fades to black and a train goes through a tunnel and then that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all have seen oh those movies. Oh my god, we've all seen them. Yeah, and I'm just like, I what? still watch K dramas, so they still happen. <laughs> That's yeah. true. That still happens a lot in K dramas. It's so funny. Uh huh. Oh and it's gosh. like a flat face kiss, like flat face kiss, and then a train goes through a tunnel, and, and then you're like, oh, they, oh, thank you. They did something. Okay. <laughs> oh, it happened. Yes. Like in this case, they just go out into the warm water. The warm water the warm is water important. Is important. <laughs> it is important. It's important. The warm water is important. Warm water. That it's important. And then they start making out, fade to black, and they wake up, and Edward's worried about the bruises on her body. But the movie combined two of their sexy moments yes. to give us the best. Like, I remember <laughs> being in the movie theater watching this movie, and as soon as his hands are on the headboard and it comes crushing <laughs> down, all the girls were like, whoa! <laughs> like, wooing and screaming. Like, it was like they were I watching. Like the only time I have heard too. more screams is when Kylo Ren and Ray finally kissed. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. God. That was, those were a lot mm-hmm. of screams. Or later, another big change in the book to movie when uh, when people start dying. Like, those yeah, were, like, yeah. a big... Oh my god! But I was like, "Thank you, movie, for not giving us right. the fade to black, for giving us like a sexy moment with them." And it was done really tastefully because they was, were very yeah. young. They knew that it was still a very young audience. So it was very tasteful. But I, I still, I want my made-for-TV HBO or FX adaption, yeah, yeah. adaptation where we just get nasty. Yeah. <laughs> nasty. I want it to be nasty. Like, wake me up in the feathers in the broken yes. room. Yeah. Uh, and I, I want to see a butt cheek. <laughs> I want to see a butt cheek. I want to see them fingers clench and leave the bruise. Right. Okay, that, that gets me to my next thought. Of, <laughs> of, you can tell that Edward has been a virgin his whole life because he's upset by a little bit of bruising. I know. I know. Anyone yeah. who has se- had sex of any kind... No, his bruises happen. A I hickey? bruise like a fruit. Has he ever given a girl a hickey he can't because he would like, suck her blood. Yeah, out, girl. but I'm just but, saying, like that's a that, that's a teenage yeah. rite of passage. Like a hickey is just a fancy word for a bruise. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like a mouth made bruise. Yeah, like, and just, vampires don't get bruised, and yeah, so like, even if he had sex like a, as a vampire, he wouldn't know this was natural and normal. Like it's just a teenage rite of passion. Prince. He just didn't. Yeah, 
Handprints, bite marks. It's all a thing. Yeah. That happens. It, it happens. It happens. Bruises happen. And he is like, I will not touch he is her. Scandalized. He is scandalized. Yeah. He's like, I he hurt like, you. I hurt you. And I'm so, I'm so sorry. sorry. He's going to go back to I, Rio and find a church where he can go to confession. Yes. Yes. He's like, this is the father for I have seen. I have sinned. Then, I have bruised my wife. Bruised. Which we get inside the movie, which I like, is we get this whole little montage of like, Edward exhausting the living fuck out of Bella. Yes. Like, we're going on hikes and we're playing games and we're swimming. And, and we're going to watch old musicals and we're going to. Yeah. yeah. And like, like all we these are things not going to have are sex at a waterfall. So Sorry. Let me swim away from you. Yeah. That you're like, OK, I get it. Like, right. I'm going to yeah. murder you. And Bella's trying so hard. She's like, let me put on my nightgown, sexy right? lingerie. Yeah. And like, I like that you see in the movie Edward, like looking at her standing in the corner and he's just like. Mm. <laughs> and like turns over put his face into the pillow like I can't and yeah and then she Just has this scandalized like, then she has this like sexy dream and wakes up crying. But it wasn't sexy in the movie. It's not sexy in the no, movie. No, in the movie it's just weird. Like she wins a chess, chess. game and they start making out. Yeah. It's like, that's not sexy. That's not, no. And it, like, Maybe and when I was like 11 like, that was sexy. She mm-hmm. guilts him into sleeping she, yeah, with her she, Yeah, it's very, it's, it ain't coercion, but it's not cool either. <laughs> yeah, it's like, he's like, what's, tell me, tell me what's wrong. And she's like, it was such a good dream. You were dicking me down so good. <laughs> I know. Oh, and it's oh weird. my God. <laughs> Yeah, she, that that was listen, weird. this girl has had sex one time and she's so digmatized <laughs> that she's like, I will go to Dartmouth. I will go to Dartmouth and I will you do go. it again, Daddy. I will do yeah, it again. It's fine. I want to be you human longer. You don't have longer. to change me. I'll be human longer. Just give me that Just D. keep dicking me down. Please. It's too good. And I, like, I love that he's like, well, are you? it's not as bad. I guess you're right. Practice yeah, does right. Make, make perfect. perfect. <laughs> like, oh, Edward, girl. Now you know what's to expect. Girl. So it's like, girl, get it. I get it. And like, and like, I understand also why she was so upset about him not wanting to be with her physically yeah. because when you're the person you love and you're with is like oh, that puts so much distance and makes you feel bad about yourself and yeah rejection is hard and it, she doesn't you know it, it's hard to delineate that like this is a rejection of an action and not a rejection of me as yes. a person and who I am. Yeah. So I understand. I understand. And I people made fun of like how serious she was about it and like not having sex on her honeymoon. I'm like, no, but like that's a real that's hurtful thing and it's hurtful and it hurts your self-esteem and you, you start questioning your choices and their yeah. choices. And but, you know, it's fine. Bella is always ready to die for the D. And so she right. will do whatever she can to get just digmatize. <laughs> Dick. Much eyes. But and like I just it. love it. She will and throw I- herself on a <laughs> knife for the D. <laughs> And I, I love know, it. And it was so good that <laughs> yeah. she is willing to save human for She's orgasms. She's the prototype thirsty girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Love it. And I love that um, because, you know, the cleaners come, right? Yeah. And we get... The one cleaner is terrified of Edward. Just fucking terrified. She's like, this is a demon. He's a um, demon. But we get to go back to like Twilight, not the, the first Twilight book, Twilight. And Bella's like vampire research. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, and we learn about the incubus, the, the incubi and the succubi and how they actually think that they are vampires mm-hmm. and how it's part of their lore. And mm-hmm. there are like lore about this is why she's afraid is that like the incubi guy like you picks bring up women a beautiful and woman and, to the you know, island yeah. to eat her i was like look we got a little callback to all that research yeah. we made fun of you for doing girl <laughs> yeah it's fine all that googling on your dial-up internet <laughs> yeah um, <laughs> also AOL. um one of these legends is based off of carlisle's time with the volturi <laughs> can we have that book yeah, please? please can i have that tv show it's this st- i'm gonna butcher this it's the stragoni benefici i'm like yes Yes. yes, we it's would written all here for do you. so well just having a Carlisle series. Right. Give me Anybody Carlisle in this show. family, but definitely Carlisle, because yeah. he had a life. He had a life. A life life before he did this. Like, yeah. he was rolling with the top vampires of the world, right? you know? You so. could, like, have a season per century. Yeah. He was just having a life out there, okay? And he was doing so much that a legend started off yeah. of him. So I'm just saying there's got to be some good stories up in the end. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Give it to me. The original Lestat. <laughs> <laughs> the original. But yeah, baby girl is baby girl maid is just terrified for Bella's existence. It keeps trying to check on her to make sure she's she still brings alive. her food. Yeah, and she's like, okay, I guess I'll eat some of it. And then yeah. she starts vomiting everywhere. And she's like, the chicken's bad. I, like, I I I must have made the chicken wrong. It wasn't done all the way. Yeah. yeah. And she's Pretty like, sure. wait. What day is it? What day is it? Why How is long has it been since the wedding? I was packed some tampons. Why haven't I used them yet? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> uh, but I, I'm late. Like, Edward just goes dead. 
just he just he's just yeah. like pure shock what yeah stoicness that's not a thing that that's this, not a this can't happen i can't do he, that like, he does a phone a friend and he calls carlisle and carlisle goes like i don't well, no, know alice, no, calls. alice calls oh alice calls alice that's right alice she vision. sees it alice and she was like but what does bella she see? are you okay so yeah. i think she saw bella dying that's right. Yeah. What What do you think that Alice that, sees? Because I don't think we find out. I don't know if we do. We don't know. Not in this section. Not in this section. Anyway. We don't know. We don't know what Alice sees. But Alice sees something, and she calls. Yeah. It was big enough for her to call. I think you're right. I think she sees Bella because all of Bella's choices at this moment are she's pregnant. She's gonna have a baby. So what happens with those choices is Bella dies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, and I don't think she saw Bella dying. I think she saw so, Bella pregnant. Yeah. And sick. And sick. And then that made her jump to conclusions of oh my god this thing will kill her yeah yeah and, and, i just don't know and i just love that edward's in such shock that he's not the one who answers the phone like yeah. bella's like your phone <laughs> and like goes and yeah. snatches it out of his pocket is on the phone with her and carla he's like and then he snatches the phone from bella and he's like can this happen and he's like i don't know i don't know maybe and, and carlisle's Ed- like get back so we can get rid of this thing yeah edward and carlisle are on the abortion train yeah. and bella's like and he's nope. straight up and edward is straight up like carlisle's a doctor he'll do it at home it's fine yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's gonna be it's not a big don't deal. worry <laughs> it's not gonna be a hanger situation yeah. girl and i think they said let's get back on this 16 hour plane ride oh my god could you imagine having to go back on that i think they did a good job of kind of foreshadowing the pregnancy too because yeah. she was like always extra hungry even Edward's like you've eaten so many eggs and she's yeah. like this island's been messing with me I don't know yeah. and you yeah. know extra maybe it's time change and time I'm change like, yeah. and my only my only criticism of it is that like how skinny was Bella because she's like oh I went to the bathroom and I swore my stomach was flat and now there's a bump there and I'm like girl right I know I could eat a burrito and I have a food baby. and I have a food baby so what are you trying to talk about you see a baby baby in there I know girl and then once she girl. notices it that's when the baby swirls you know yeah. like that's yeah. like like that hi, mom. Was, right that part was just a little bit a little too much for me but much. but like a little too much uh, but i bet you you know yeah. stephanie meyer had some you know she had she had some a, teens an thinking that that might happen yeah you know oh, oh also yeah. her not liking food like she was eating things that didn't taste good yeah uh, so, so they, they're laying it on thick laying it on thick and now they've packed up they're hopping back on their 16 hour flight and Bella makes one last phone call before they leave. And this is the part that was surprising to me. And maybe maybe it's the fact that It was that surprising they, to me, too. That they, maybe it's the fact that they lose. It's surprising to me not what she did. It's surprising that Alice didn't also see it and also run in the middle. Because Alice does a lot of seeing Bella's decisions and running mm-hmm. in the middle. Yes. So Bella reaches out to her one ally in this situation, the person that she knows will back her up regardless, Rosalie. Yes. And nothing happens there. But She's maybe able that's to... Alice's way of seeing that it's already in someone in the family's hand. Yeah, maybe and Alice was being Switzerland in the situation. You know, right? like let me strengthen it. Yeah, because maybe Alice's team Carlisle and Edward. You know, yeah, pro choice. Who knows? Who knows? Rosalie's okay. like the only pro life one, and. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I gotta reach out to my girl Rosalie. Yeah. Like, I don't know you. I know you don't like me, but uh, I know you've always wanted children. I know you didn't want this life for me, and you're the one person who'll help me protect this baby when everyone else wants me to get yeah. rid of it. So, so she calls her one ally, Rosalie. Yeah, and then we we fade to black, and we fade to black, and, and it pops. And it. next will be Jacob's chapters. Ugh. And then we're gonna read about Jacob. <laughs> and then we read about Jacob. Yeah. So I'm actually looking forward to it because I have I don't remember and New Moon was so much better than it was the first time. I will around. say that I snuck ahead and some of these there some of them are great. Okay, I, I read two chapters ahead I think and it's good. Okay, I'm I'm so jealous you read ahead because <laughs> she was so adamant, Sarah, hey. that I don't read ahead. Like I always do. Oh, sorry. I'm a big fat oh, cheater. As long as you like don't <laughs> mess up and blurt out things that we're not yeah, talking about I'm just yet. Saying. I just made sure that I like put a big thick line in between my notes so I wouldn't talk about it today. There you go. Boom. That's Boom. all that matters. Yeah. Do what you gotta do, girl. I know. I have a week. No spoilers for this N- No book. spoilers for the <laughs> book. It's Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, so we will be back next week. Next week. To, to discuss Jacob, the Jacob section of Breaking Dawn. We will st- try our best to stay away from Midnight Sun. Spoilers! Non-spoilers? I'm going to mute the tag on Twitter. You're going to have to. mute the tag on Twitter. Yeah. We yeah. don't need any of that creeping through. No. Mm-mm. All Poisoning right, Poisoning our, our breaking dawn minds. 
keeping us from being focused on this sect of the... That was the first section. I don't know what... I don't know what that was. Sorry. That doesn't come back around until section three. <laughs> that. Oh, All right, I guys. So about that part. I know. Well, until <sighs> next week, ladies. Fork off. Fork, Fork off. off. If you want to know what the fork is up, head on over to our streamer links page at streamerlinks.com slash smells like teen angst to follow all our personal social media and pages. 